Hey guys, it's Tams the Wicked Witch. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all well and stuff. Hi to my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. I'm getting quite a few now, so I'm very pleased about that. Um, I've still got a box of rubbish behind me. Sorry. Um, <laughs> you can still see loads of rubbish. But I do have a new witch on a broom. Um, she's just taking off. Um, she's got a mind of her own. She was my mum's and um, she kept going off all the time, even when there was no one walking in front of her. So we cut the battery out. So if she goes off now, we know that it's possessed. <laughs> it's really cute. So anyway, I've given her an home up there. So it's witch casket. Yes, it's just arrived. It's a horrible day. It's pissing down the rain. And I thought, let's do it straight away and see what we've got in maze. Now, if you haven't seen me open witch casket before, it's a monthly witchy subscription box it's 30 pounds to the uk but if you're already a subscriber it's about 29 pounds obviously elsewhere in the world it's more money for the um for the postage and stuff so you'd have to look it up i'll put their details below anyway it oh it, it always comes in the black witch casket box and it also comes in a black bag so you know if you're not out the broom closet you it doesn't give away what's inside so it is Magical Healing for May 2022, so it looks packed. So we've got, as always, our brochure, which tells us everything that's inside it. I'm not going to look at that, though. We have an exclusive print, which is very, very faint, but it's like a hand with a moon and a star, and I would say that was some lavender. Ooh, we have a pretty same print. On one of these bags i really like these bags and inside ah what have we got emotional healing aura spray so there's a little card sorry my nails are chipped I'm such a scruffy bitch i haven't done my fingernails i don't feel i've got any eyebrows either sorry <laughs> i've been shopping like that um emotional healing aura spray so one cup of distilled water the rose quartz chips that's in this little bag there's lavender and then there's the little spray bottle and you make the spray obviously follow the instructions and spray it like perfume um yeah really cute i should definitely have a go at that so that's what's coming here plus i really like the little bag we have our witch's healing brew tea bags as always Relax and enjoy our healing blend of rose and mint. Rose and mint, not tried them before. So this is all their own stuff now as well. This is all made by witch casket, like all their packaging and everything. So it's really nice. Um, we've got a witch casket exclusive item, which says, comes with its little card in the little bag. And it says, Healing Amethyst Potion Infuser. Use the infuser to steep your herbs, crystals, etc. to make potions and infusions, elixirs and elixirs. Amethyst is a calming stone of peace and healing which can soothe the heart, body and mind. So, ah, oh, I see it's attached to the actual infuser. So that's really cute. That's very cute. Yeah, that's sweet very sweet that's what come in there like that we also have another little bag and that's of course a piece of amethyst i don't even need to read all this check no it is <laughs> everybody knows what amethyst is don't they it's the most popular one oh we've got our pin i think my box might have got really jumbled up in the post because usually how it comes out like you always get the pin on top underneath the um usually the brochure and it's all a bit ickledy pickledy it's that moon and lavender little design again on a pin the pins are always really nice and solid so that's really cute we've got some incense which are which casket exclusive of course their own incense and they are jasmine and rose It's a, I'm not it's a bit soapy I can smell the jasmine I can't smell the rose I can smell the jasmine but it's that so 
soapy incense I can't burn. I give them to my brother-in-law. He likes all incense, the strong ones, but if they're really soapy, they make me feel sick. That's a bit soapy, um, but some people love the, you know, those salts. Wooden Intention Healing Easel. <laughs> That's cute. It says, so mote it be on it, like that. I hope that's focusing on that. So, come in this bag. Wooden Intention Healing Easel. Use the magical easel as an aid in setting intentions, particularly useful for things such as distance healing spells. Place a picture of the person that you're casting the spell for on the easel. That's, that's a nice idea. And useful for other things, pictures of other things as well. Um... Oh, it's gone quite quick today. I don't think there's as much. We've got a box. This looks like one of those crystal grid boxes. It opens up. Ah, inside it's instructions on how to use it. And a bag of amethyst stones. That's cute. You place the stones where you feel. Um, on the, I can't remember what this is called. I know it's a crystal grid, but this shape is called saying, and I can't think. Um, what it's called um yeah so that's cute and uh there's parchment a piece of parchment for your book of shadows um i don't know why but this doesn't seem as much in this as usual but maybe it's just me um it is simple healing spells a distance healing spell a, f a physical healing spiritual healing emotional healing you're not might not be able to see this with the light in here. It's so pow in here now, a bit like my head. <laughs> that's pow. I need a bit of sun. So that's for your book of shadows. It went really fast, this box. Six minutes in. It usually takes longer. So we've got our scroll and our box, um, our crystal grid box, the incense, my brother in law can have them, our tea bags, rose and mint. We have our amethyst. And we have our pin badge, we've got our wooden intention stand, which is a cute idea, the, the amethyst infuser, and the spell kit. The spell kit's usually in paper, but today it's in this, and I, I do really like the spell kit being in this bag. I think it's cute because the bags are really useful. Our print, and our booklet so that was everything in which casket may 2022 not one of my favorites i won't lie i mean i usually love everything i do like the healing um the easel the healing spells and distance spells i think that's really cute not one of my favorites um but still a nice box um always a lot of things in which casket even though today i didn't feel that there was as much as usual but perhaps it's just it's gone faster <laughs> um yeah so that was everything in may 2022s um yep so if you want to get yourselves one their details are below their instagrams below my instagrams below and if you haven't already please like and subscribe to the channel um so i have some witchy some witchy things coming up for you um over the weekend and one for next week um and yeah maybe a haul there might be a haul of some sort i have been trying to behave myself and not buy anything so that's why you haven't had any living dead doll halls or anything like that i've been trying to behave and be a bit good um and not spend any money um which is really really hard i did just make this though which i haven't painted yet a paintbrush holder um and i made this from clay and stuck it on the front so it is just a uh you know a salt a bolognese sauce tesco sauce jar <laughs> and um yeah in case you wondered what that was sitting there I made it to put my paintbrushes in. I just got to paint it. I got some really nice yellows and gold paint out of Hobbycraft, which I'm going to use on that. Um, so, yes, I might show some of my craft stuff, actually, in a couple of weeks, what I've been making. Somebody did say, I still haven't done Bubba Yeager's video. I'm going to do Bubba Yeager as well. So, yeah, there's lots of things coming. So, please give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos and I'll see you soon. See you later on. Bye.